This week was devastating to to watch um, an insurrection unfold right before our eyes. I was taken back to 2016 when the Women's March organized all over Washington, D.C., pink hats on men and women, children on soldiers, bumping into each other, sharing water bottles, carrying signs, behaving as though our love could perfect our union. That contrasted with the violent, enraged, mostly white entitled crowd that killed a police officer, um, an insurrection encouraged, incited by a sitting president. One of the things that I wanna make sure that we never do is we never lie about what's happening. Let's never say we've never been here before because we have. Let's never say this isn't America because in fact it is. My ancestors, my incredible, beautiful black ancestors have been the target of enraged white people who feel like they're losing their their power, their prestige. Ask our Jewish friends, ask our Muslim friends, ask women, ask poor white people, ask ask Native Americans, ask, ask Hispanic people. This white power that is lodged in the disenfranchised white male, mostly Christian bunch of radically angry, disenfranchised folks, that white rage and that white grievance is dangerous. And if we don't tell the truth about it, we will never be able to reconcile it. So my prayer today is for the, is for the people who lost their, their, their way, the people who have lost their balance, the people who have lost their minds, <laughs> and for the rest of us to really keep being truth tellers in a prophetic way that our tears will heal us and the truth will set us free.